What's going on gentlemen? Welcome to a new series. Today I'm going to be answering your comments that you put on my videos and hey, if you want to be a part of the series, all you got to do is just comment on this video, comment on other videos and I'll see it. So the first comment we're going to talk about here is by Veloc3853, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Love the video. Can you give me any tips on how I should train for basketball? I am a shooting guard, I run track, and I'm in 8th grade. Damn dude, come on, let's go. I play D1 AAU basketball right now. I want to be able to make it on my varsity team in high school. Would love if you could get back to me. I've seen a lot of comments asking me, well, how do I actually train? Is there a schedule to it? So the way I see it is train whenever you have time, right? So you could make a schedule for it, which I have in the past, and I, I like doing that. But what I realize is life really gets in the way being a student athlete. You got projects to do. You got tests to study for. You got things to do. So when you're at school, finish all your schoolwork, right? So then you get it all done before you get home. And you get home, train, right? So now that we're outside on the courts and we're doing our thing, right? What do you do once you get out there? Well, if you want to practice your shooting... Don't just do it like this, ready? Don't just do, okay, I'm going to practice shooting today, and then tomorrow I'll do dribbling, and then I'll do defense. No. If you want to get better at something, if you want to master a skill, you got to do it for a long period of time. So if you want to master your shooting, spend a whole month just shooting. Like, do a full shooting workout for a month. This is high-value stuff right here, man. You don't hear this often, but it is the best way to master any skill. So if you want to learn how to do a spin jumper, I want you to do 500 spin jumpers throughout the week, right? Do 500 reps, 500 reps, 500, and by the end of the month, you're going to have that mastered. It's going to be another thing to add to your bag. The next comment we have is by Swabby6086, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly once again. He says, you deserve a, stu a sub, you're underrated for real. Aw. I'm going to start watching more of your videos. I'm a freshman and I just got cut from the team. Damn, man. I mean, the people who made the team deserved it. They were way better than me. A way to be accountable. I know I train way more than everyone there, but I haven't seen as many results compared to the guys who made the team. I know sometimes it's not about how much you train, but how you train makes a big difference. I don't have much confidence. Part of the reason is outside of basketball. I have acne, I'm skinny, etc. All right, let me, let me pause it right there. <laughs> so you believe the reason why you don't have the confidence is because of reasons outside of basketball you said oh i'm skinny and i have acne i don't know if you realize this my friend look at me i have acne too a lot of people have acne stop worrying about it it's not going to help you in any way dude like so many people have made fun of me for having acne man like oh i've heard it all oh let's play connect the dots oh you know you're red like a tomato i've heard it all man it's Everybody has to deal with that at some point in their lives, some worse than others, right? Everybody has at least one pimple that pops up. But for some of us, we have really bad acne. All right, so what? I remember the approach that when it was really bad, I'll have to put a picture up of when it was really bad. But I remember instead of saying, oh my gosh, like I'm so this or that, I'm so ugly because I have acne. Instead of taking that approach, I remember saying, man, you know like how in video games when a character is too good, you have to nerf them? I remember just thinking to myself, man, this must be a nerf because I would be too damn good looking without this acne. <laughs> and hey, you just have fun with it, man. Just take a chill pill. Stop taking yourself so seriously. And look, your acne is not going to affect your play on the basketball court, man. Nobody's watching your games thinking, oh, man, he did a really good move there, but he has a lot of acne. That doesn't happen. Nobody thinks like that. And if they do, they're pretty weird for it, so you don't even want them to like you anyway, because then that would mean you're around them. <laughs> so don't worry about that, man. Have confidence in yourself, and don't let outside stuff get to you like that. I've had to deal with it myself. It doesn't help, all right? All right. <clears throat> um, I've been scared to always drive to the hoop or even dribble too much. I'm just afraid that the ball will be stolen or blocked. All right, so by you saying that to me, I can tell just in that statement you've had bad coaches in the past, coaches that have told you not to do this. And you need to shed that 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 crap. Leave that crap in the past, all right? And from what you've told me, you're pretty accountable, so I imagine you work pretty hard. So trust in your abilities, 
All right, stop worrying about, oh, what if I get blocked? What if I get the ball stolen? Man, I can put so many videos on the screen of times I got the ball stolen for me, times I got blocked, absolutely embarrassed. But my teammates, they respect me. If I get blocked, I get blocked. So what? But I'm still going up strong. That's the attitude you got to take towards it. Uh, if you can post any videos related uh, to this, that would be mad appreciated. I really want to make my high school team. That means everything, blah, blah, blah. I got you, bro. And you said not even my parents support me. Well, I've had the luxury or, you know, the blessing that my parents support me. So I'll try my best to help you with that. Um, but look, man, once again, you have the belief in yourself. And that's all you need. All right, next one up, we got a comment from Smelly Potato 3786 LeBron is the GOAT. You see, we have a very kind community, a very nice community. You guys are very nice. That doesn't mean all of you are the brightest. <laughs> Alright, last comment of the day. We got another one by Swabby. Uh, he says, bro, I swear you are so relatable. I love basketball so much to the point to where I piss off my parents for playing too much. Nobody believes I can make it, but I don't care what they say. Oh, that actually goes with what I said earlier. All you need is your own self-belief. Good stuff. It doesn't stop me. I just want to know what your advice is for training. I believe I work hard enough. However, sometimes it's not about how hard you work. It's about how you work. Smart man. Now, I'm not trying to get out of working hard and disciplined. I just want to know what you should do. Okay. Look, I wouldn't get too deep into the details of how do I do the perfect workout. Like, let's take this for example. Let's say a really unhealthy fat dude wanted to get to the gym, right? Are you going to stop him from going to the gym because he doesn't have the perfect workout routine? No, you're just going to tell him, go to the gym, and over time, you're going to figure out what works best for you. That's how you learn. Um, but look, you've seen it online. You've seen the Kobe videos. Just volume and effort in every single one of your reps. Don't just be going around, okay, I'm going to get a 1,000 shots today and just go like this. No, you got to do a 1,000 reps of whoo, whoo, game speed stuff. If you do everything with a purpose, like dribble with a purpose, shoot with a purpose, you're going to improve. All right. I could make videos about other workouts like lifting, shooting, dribbling speed, and anything else. Yeah, I, I get that. And I probably will in the future. But for right now, man, don't worry about all the details, right? For example, if I worried about all the details about a YouTube channel, I wouldn't have started it. I just had to take the leap and just say, you know what, let me just post my first video. It's similar to that. Just get outside and practice. All right, well, that's all the comments, but I have a question for you. For all my videos, how do you find the most value? Do you find the value in the videos that are uncut and unfiltered, or do you find the value in the quick, you know, editing ones and the how they have the videos and the or the videos of my clips and games and stuff? Or do you like when I go over actual game stuff, like I have a face cam in the corner while I'm watching it? Let me know your thoughts. And um, thank you again for watching. As always, keep God first. Good luck.